Hello, it's April from April's Home, and today I thought I would share with you a classic old-fashioned cake recipe. This is a one-egg cake. I learned this recipe from my grandmother years and years ago, and I have been making this cake for many years. I make this cake just as a plain one egg cake, and I also use this cake as a base for pineapple upside down cake, cherry cakes, spice cakes, things like that. You can use this simple cake recipe in many different ways, but today I'm just making a standard vanilla flavored one egg cake and I've dusted it with a little bit of powdered sugar to enjoy with a nice cup of coffee or tea. And again, you can put any flavor of frosting on this, chocolate frosting, buttercream, or vanilla frosting. And again, you can use this as a base for many different recipes. I thought that this old-fashioned one egg cake recipe would be fun to share with you, especially with the rising cost of eggs. If you need to whip up a simple cake, this one egg cake recipe is very easy and very delicious. Let's go ahead to the kitchen now and I'll share with you how I made this one egg cake. When I'm done sharing the recipe with you, I'm going to go ahead and give this cake a try. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started making our one egg cake. You will need four tablespoons of softened butter. So I've got here a half a stick of butter, four tablespoons of butter, and I will be softening that up. I do usually just soften mine in the microwave. You can also soften it by setting it out in advance. So we'll need four tablespoons of softened butter. We'll need half a cup of sugar. One egg, this is a one egg cake, so you will need one egg, and you'll want to go ahead and lightly beat that egg. I'll do that, and when I get this mixed up, I'll show you how I do that. We'll need half a cup of milk, some vanilla, some baking powder, and flour. And I will go ahead and list all of these ingredients in the description box below. You will also want to go ahead and preheat your oven to 350, 350 degrees. You will need a mixing bowl, and you will need a cake pan here. This is just like a basic cake pan here. I think it's eight or nine inches. And I will be spraying this really thoroughly with some pan spray. Just keep that nice and nonstick. So the first thing I'm going to do is soften up my butter. I'll get it here in my mixing bowl and I will mix my butter and sugar. Okay, so I've added my half cup of sugar to my bowl here. I've got out my electric mixer. And my butter got very softened, but that is okay here. You can see there's a little bit of that butter stick in there left, but as you can see, it's mostly softened. So I'm going to go ahead now and blend the butter and sugar together with my mixer here, just until it's nice and blended together. I'll come back and show you what that looks like, and then we'll get our egg added. My sugar and butter are thoroughly creamed together. Now I'm going to go ahead and add one lightly beaten egg. You can see here I've cracked my egg in a little dish here. Just like so, I use my fork to lightly beat my egg and then I will go ahead and add it to my sugar and butter mixture and then get that mixed up nicely. Okay, so into the mix there. And I do like to use a spoon sometimes to get out all the egg there. And now I'll go ahead and get this all mixed together and come back to add the next ingredient. Here you can see my egg, sugar, and butter mixture all mixed together. The mixture looks light and creamy. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my half cup of milk. Just like so. And I'm not going to mix this yet. Next I'll be adding my flour. This recipe calls for one and a half cups of flour. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the flour right into the center of the mixture. There's one cup and a half cup. So one and a half cups. Then to the very top, I'm going to add my baking powder. You will need two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So I've got some baking powder here and I'll go ahead and add two and a half teaspoons. Here's one teaspoon right on the top and another teaspoon, again right on the top, and then a half teaspoon. So two and a half teaspoons, and then what I like to do before I mix it into the liquid, is I like to use a little spoon to just kind of incorporate that baking powder into the flour. Not all the way down to the liquid part, just so it gets mixed in there so that when I mix it together, it'll distribute nicely. So now I'll go ahead and use my mixer to blend this all together. My cake batter is nice and mixed up. I mix that up with my electric mixer between one and two minutes, probably closer to one, one and a half. And now I'm going to go ahead and add vanilla. 
I just add it by the cap full. I just always use the cap of the vanilla bottle to add vanilla. The recipe calls for a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I like to use just a touch more than that. That's why I use the cap of my vanilla bottle. If you have a smaller cap, that's fine. Just eye it, but about half a teaspoon of vanilla. So now I'm going to go ahead and get that mixed in. Now we can get our batter transferred to our cake pan and baking in the oven. So I have finished mixing up my cake batter here and I have given my cake pan a generous coating of pan spray. I will use my rubber spatula here to transfer the batter to the cake pan and then we'll get that baking at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. My cake batter is in my cake pan and I'm ready to get this baking at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I will come back and let you know how long it took to bake. I will make sure and check this part way through and of course I will bake it until a knife or cake tester inserted in the center comes out clean and the cake starts to pull away from the edge of the pan. So I'll be back to let you know how long it takes to bake our one egg cake. My cake is out of the oven and baked and in just a second I will remove it from the pan and get it on the cooling rack here. It took about 20 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit to bake. Around 20 to 21 minutes is when I took this out. You can see it's pulling away from the edge and I put a knife in the middle and it came out perfectly clean. So I'm going to go ahead now and get this cake removed from the pan and I'll put this out on the cooling rack. My cake came out perfectly from the cake pan. That is why I always like to be sure and give a generous coating of cooking spray so that the cake pops right out. I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool. It's really hot right now. You definitely want to cool these cakes completely before you go ahead and frost them or glaze them. This cake goes well with just about any flavor of frosting. It is just a classic vanilla one layer cake. I'll be back when the cake is cooled and I'll give it a try. Our one egg cake has cooled down here. I'm going to keep this cake nice and simple and just give it a dusting of powdered sugar. I think that this will be great with coffee and tea today. So that is how I made my one egg cake. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my recipe and I hope you'll give it a try. I've cut myself a slice here and I'm going to go ahead now and try it. I usually eat this cake with frosting of course but I thought I would just try the plain cake here today. So let's see how it turned out. And that is a good simple cake. Again, this cake would be great with a little bit of frosting. I may go ahead and whip up a little bit of frosting for this cake. And I think it would go great with a side of ice cream and definitely a cup of tea or coffee. Again, I've left the recipe in the description box below. I hope you give this old-fashioned one egg cake recipe a try. I would love to know in the comments below if you have a one egg cake recipe or have ever heard of the one egg cake recipe or if you remember your grandma making a one egg cake recipe. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. <laughs>